What's up guys? In this video, we're going to discuss that Robinhood has delisted BSV. So the delisting will be effective January 25th, 2023. This comes the latest delisting after Bitfinex did so last month um, in December of 2022. And you know, this is just another blow, right? Um, I would argue it's a short-term blow and I'm curious about the community sentiment here because I do know that it is a big off-ramp um, for a lot of people. And, you know, we still do not have the hand cash USDC that was also delayed. And, you know, I guess for me personally, my only option now is uh, Bittrex. So, you know, overall, I think in the short term here, this is obviously not a good thing. Um, and whatever Robin, BSV Robinhood has, they're going to liquidate. And, you know, of course, which will probably put more downward pressure on the price. The price fell about 7% on this news, both the BSV USD and the BSV BTC pair were about 40 bucks down. I think it got as low as 39, so maybe 10% drop. Um, but I think it's around 40 as of recording here, about 11 a.m. Eastern time on uh, January 11th, 2023. So, um, yeah, and, you know, Robin Hood, I know they've been hemorrhaging money, so they might just need it. You know, they might see this, this massive funds they have here. You know, I read somewhere on socials that they've got uh, 170K coins, which is, you know, you know, maybe I'll do a separate video about that, about, you know, these guys holding these huge stashes, but um, of coins, uh, house, that's very wasteful, right? Um, so I guess what I want to say with this is that, you know, with the economy where it is, this is, a, if you look at it from a purely business side of Robinhood, there probably wasn't that much usage of it. It makes sense. For us in the community, in our echo chamber, it seems like it's a bad thing. But I think, again, it'll just kind of be one of those, you know, okay, tripped over a rock, you get back up, right? And, you know, long term, I don't know if Robinhood was doing derivatives. I know they were before, before they added the ability to actually deposit and withdraw. Uh, but you can withdraw, and that's what I've been using it for, for example, and other community members have. But the, um, you know, for them, I think they just, they might just need the cash. And, you know, I'm not sure financially how they are affected, uh, how they are affected by the seizure of stock, half a billion dollars of stock, of Robinhood stock from SBF as a result of his arrest and, um, you know, his upcoming trial in October of this year. You know, he tried to fight and get it back and they just took it. They just seized it. So um, I'm not sure how that affects, impacts them, you know, having such a large equity holder. I don't know how much he had. I think 7 to 9% of stock in Robinhood. And, you know, now the government's got it. So I don't know if that's relevant to this because this comes, I think, the day after or two days afterwards. So, you know, again, there's no such thing as coincidences, right? But, you know, I'm not educated enough on that to know how financially that impacts Robinhood, whether it's negative or neutral. Um, I would say certainly it's probably not a good thing that the government's holding such a large amount of your stock, right? I mean, maybe they have to return it. I, I really don't know how that plays out. So those could those two things could be related, not sure. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, you know, we already, and you know, one thing I'm slightly annoyed at is that a lot of people are trying to pit, spin this as a good thing. And, you know, <laughs> And, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see the comments on here. I, I don't think how you could, I don't know in this environment where we're at, where liquidity is the primary problem. I don't know how you spend this as a good thing, especially if they're going to dump it. Um, you know, on one hand, you want the weekends to get out, but in the short term, this is not good. Um, long term, sure, maybe. Uh, again, I don't know if Robinhood had an advanced mode where you could do derivatives and leverage, but um, it appears to me you couldn't. It was only spot, so spot trading. So, yeah, I, I just want to see what is the justification for people believing that this is a good thing, right? Um, because it's not like Robinhood had the same stigma as someone like Bitfinex, right? Who looks like, you know, who has done sketchy things in the past, who has a, I would say, overall negative re reputation relative to their peers, uh, which is difficult with F people, folks like FTX and Binance out there. Uh, well, FTX doesn't exist anymore, right? <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, um, I'm just curious of what people's thoughts and, you know, it, honestly, man, if for me, we need the hand cash thing, you know, um, I've tested it. I have a beta version of it. It works great. So I'm just looking forward to them actually launching it. 
um, it doesn't. We need the off ramps, right? That's going to be a big thing because if Bittrex delists, man, I, I now we have I have significant problems, and I think a lot of other people here in the U.S. will. I know depending on what country you're in, um, you might have a better experience with this, or you might have a worse one. And you know, again, this is showing our community's ineptitude and leadership's ineptitude to get this coin listed and remain listed on exchanges. And that's been one of my biggest complaints over the past couple of years or so is because, you know, with this type of stuff, you start, especially those who insist on actually earning because we do earn and we want, we do need dollars because I can't use BSV to pay my mortgage or my power bill. Um, the reality is we need to sell for dollars and, you know, long term, I hope that's not the case. That's my belief anyways, that I will be able to use this stuff for true services, which, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking about more. Uh, a bit as we move into 2023, because I think that is about to get very interesting. Um, but anyways, that aside, today is not good. It's not a good thing. And what I want to see is, you know, um, and, uh, another point I want to make, I mentioned the countries. I saw another thing that uh, some Canadian exchange is delisting Tether, or they're not going to let you use Tether. I think it was crypto.com. And because it's based on jurisdiction. So, you know, the walls are closing in on the stuff. I don't know if that's related to what Robinhood's doing because they did mention about states in there and that might be problematic. You know, depending on what state you are, you can withdraw or not the BSV, which I thought was interesting. But, you know, we're going to need at the community from the top level, top down people, you know, the leader, leaders, we're going to need some guidance because. If we can't actually sell this stuff for dollars, we have a problem. So, you know, hopefully the hand cash thing comes out and it remains up and, you know, circles okay and USDC is fine and all that works. That's ideal. But, you know, the, the less uh, ways to exit, the more risk you have. And that's not good. So that's why I don't think overall this is good because even though Robin Hood's a bit shady in terms of overall their business dealings with the whole GameStop debacle from two years ago, and, you know, their CEO looking like a, a MK Ultra puppet or whatever the hell when he went on CNBC um, after he hosed all the game, GME holders, uh, GameStop holders, um, not GMB. Um, we just need some assurance that we have some exchange that actually has funding and that's actually going to be able to do swaps of BSV to USD. That is so important. You know, relying on USDC, another trusted third party. Relying on USDT, another trusted third party, right? Uh, we need a native stable coin on BSV that we can actually redeem for dollars. We need that. And until that happens, you know, I honestly, man, if this delisting happens and this hand cash thing doesn't work out or it takes a long time, I can see more downward pressure on the price. You guys know I'm completely bearish on all crypto, including BSV in the short term because of just the economic realities um, you know, with them, with the rising prices and the rising rates. And so, you know, this is, this is, this is a blow. It, however, it doesn't do anything to deter me at all. I'm just acknowledging the reality of the situation. Um, this doesn't affect anything long-term for me. I mean, I'm still building stuff, doing these videos, writing, all developing all kinds of stuff. So yeah, mainly the video is just to announce it, talk about it. I put a tweet out there, got lots of engagement. I knew obviously, cause it's always to do with the price, right? And um, so, yeah, I'm just looking for feedback and wanted to express my opinion. All right. Let me know feedback. I'll see you all in the next one.